plaintiff, Jordan Deerdorf, dated the defendant, and they have a child together. Jordan claims he got into an argument with the defendant and her new boyfriend during a custody exchange, and Jordan pulled out his gun to defend himself. And afterwards, the defendant had him falsely arrested for assault. He's suing for attorney fees, court fines, and emotional distress. Defendant Demi Maines insists on the day in question, Jordan pushed her, and that's why she had him arrested. However, Demi also says she never pressed charges against Jordan. The state did, and therefore she doesn't owe for anything. Start with you. Um, so, I mean, basically, you know, we, we got together a long while ago when we were both kind of young. Uh, we, had, we had an unexpected child, and uh, through the happenings, I just, you know, did what I could to try and make sure I was going to be able to, you know, to take care of the child. And uh, so I ended up working a lot, going to school, and uh, things were hectic between us, to say the least. So, you know, we, we tried to work it out, and the relationship was fairly, it was just unhealthy. We argued a lot. Um, we ended up splitting up. When? When did you split up? I think it was November. It would have been uh, 13. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Um, and so she eventually met Colin, and uh, you know, it was the witness. Uh, her witness? Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, and from there, you know, things kind of smoothed out. Um, she was a little more stable, and we were able to do things a little more fluidly. And uh, up until you know, a day we went to exchange, uh, she had she had our son Cassius, uh, and and we met the, so that we could exchange. And uh, on this day, when they showed up, you know, the music was. They, they had the music playing in the car. It was really loud. I mean, I could feel it in my car. So, I mean, I, I was aggravated. He was only one at the time. I was aggravated. Um, so, I mean, I said something to her. I tried to be calm about it, but, I mean, I was aggravated. I'm not going to lie. Um, so I, was, I said something like, you know, I don't think the music is appropriate for a one-year-old. Um, she got defensive and started screaming and yelling. And then uh, I guess he had heard her from the car. So he got out screaming and yelling and came over to attack me. Um, so, Did he attack you? Uh, he was he was charging at me. I mean, she Demi was trying to hold he was him back. Running and everything. at you? Over to my car, yes. And uh, where were you standing outside the car? I was standing on the passenger side of my car. Uh, she had just put Cassius in the car, so you know I was kind of helping her close the door and stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, as he's coming around, I told him like, you know, I'm not I'm not going to fight you. I have a firearm. I'll defend myself. You know, it was in the glove box. I got it out. Still in. You got it stuff. out. What'd you get it out for? I couldn't, I couldn't fight him. I have lung conditions. Right. So I wasn't going to like wrestle him. Oh, so you out. warned him. You said, I'm going to get my gun. Yeah, I was just being safe. I mean, I wasn't, you know Okay. I mean? um, so I just, it was still holstered. I just he held it to the side. He was running at you. Yes, correct. He ran around my, he ran around my right, car. to get you. Yeah. And you said, hold on, let me get my gun. And he stopped. No, I mean, he was, he was, you got to think, he was like four parking spots away. So it's not like he was just like right there. And he wasn't full sprint. He was coming at me aggressively. So and he stopped. He didn't stop. She was holding him back by my car. Okay. And that's how you had time enough right. to go grab your gun. Yeah. Okay. When you told him you were getting your gun, he didn't stop. He no. kept coming. He did. It wasn't until him you him pulled him. it out. Yeah. Did Correct. you point it at it, him? Actually, I didn't. No, I didn't point it at him. He actually didn't, like, stop until he saw it, until what? he looked at it. Oh, he didn't stop when you told him you were getting it? No. It was when you pulled it out? Correct. And you had it in your hand? Yeah, it was holstered. Okay. And why are you suing? them for attorney fees because i wouldn't have been arrested had she not lied and say that i assaulted her you pushed me you arrested for assault yes nothing fourth to do with the gun fourth degree assault and menacing nothing to do with the gun no all right who has police reports or I anything that indicates you were charged i have it right here So. And what happened with the charges? Thank you. Uh, they were eventually dismissed. What do you mean eventually? After a trial? Or After I had spent three months on house arrest mm -hmm. and went to a few uh, court appearances and... Uh, court appearances? Yeah. We, you didn't we go went to multiple trial? times. They, it, when we went to go to trial, uh -huh. she showed up and said that she wanted to drop the charges. Oh, okay. I didn't, but so you I had already, the charges. I didn't press any charges. I didn't call the cops. A bystander called this the This is very confusing. The state pressed charges against him. So charges were pressed? Not by me. She went and no. filed an EPO. I filed an EPO. That was it. Charges were pressed or not? Yes, they were. You said she dropped them. 
after I had already incurred over five, almost five thousand dollars in attorney fees. She dropped them. And yeah, after all of this, yeah. Okay, and you were going to show me something about the dismissal. You were going to yes, show me the I order of dismissal. Just a second. I'm sorry. Sorry. <clears throat> I believe that's it. Okay. All right. I thought this was some kind of prank. <laughs> Tommy, did you put him up to this? You put him up to this. You, that's nephew Tommy that uh, comes on the uh, Steve Harvey show oh, in the yeah. morning. And he has a uh, part of his section is uh, uh, where he pranks people. Oh. I believe he put this man up to this. It's got to be a prank. And he is Steve Harvey's nephew. He comes on the show every morning. This a prank? No, sir. <laughs> because, sir, you were part of a diversion. It was a judicial diversion. I know what it is. I, that's exactly what I just told you. That's exactly what I just told you. And I know exactly how that goes. Judge says, okay, we're going to put you in a diversion program, and if you have no more convictions within a year or so, whatever the time frame is, then this will be dismissed, and it will not go on your record. Sir, I'm, you're not going to waste my time anymore. I'm reading the police report and everything. The subject pushed his ex-girlfriend causing injury, then removed a 38 caliber from the glove box. Sir, don't waste my time anymore. Talking about you want attorney fees. What do you want? You're the one entitled to something. I don't, I don't want any. Oh, okay. You're nice. You should thank her. Have a good day. Your claim is dismissed. <laughs> um, it's gonna go the same. I mean, yeah. not, we don't really talk to each other anyways. Yeah, I mean, we just share custody and we have a pretty worked out agreement now, so everything is okay.